Well, good morning. How lovely to see you. And this is the first week of the last quarter of 2024, as we have the final stretch to the completely arbitrary end of the year. Anyway, last week I was recording this video footage here using uh, my Insta360 here on my hat to try to show you my experience of using this split keyboard over here. And it kind of went a bit like, and then I know I have cursor keys. I've got shift, but I don't have an enter. Enter seems, enter seems like an important key. <laughs> and, um, and that was me trying to work out how I was going to be using this split keyboard. I think it's like this for more ergonomic reasons. It's split, so it matches up with your shoulders. Anyway, the people I'm working for, they sent me this keyboard. This isn't an advert, things like that. But I've got slightly more used to it now. I've got these modifier keys that give me cursor keys, so I can press that. And over here, my little pinky presses this to give me function keys and more control keys. Still getting used to it. Again, not an advert, not sponsored. Uh, it's slow going with the keyboard, but it's kind of interesting. What else is going on over here? I just thought I'd show you this. So this is the Douglas Adams book, which is pretty amazing. And I, I must admit, I'm getting a little bit fascinated by Douglas's handwriting over here. That there's that there's so many, so many examples of the handwriting uh, is pretty, well, to me, interesting anyway. So that's what I've been looking out for no reason whatsoever. But I need to get on because I've got a whole bunch of work to do and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. That's it for today. Bye. It's got a little bit colder in the studio now, so I've got my hat on. I went through winter last year at the studio. It was fine, but I think this year I might actually get a heater in just so I can dry my socks and shoes on, really, because putting damp shoes on is a bit grim. So I'm about to start writing my blog post about the generative handwriting that I've done. And this is long overdue. Uh, I think I might even make a video about it as well. But I figured it was time to, to actually state, not state my claim, put my flag in the ground, whatever. Um, obviously, Amy's done her handwriting stuff. And then there's the, the uh, stuff made here, I think, has made the video about his attempt at making the handwriting drawing. Mine is different to both of those two, but also similar in some ways. Anyway, I want to write a whole blog post about how I've done it, why I've done it, and how it's the same and how it's different to those other approaches. They're all perfectly fine approaches. We're just trying to do different things. And it's gonna take me a while to do, and I might also make a video about it as well. So there's that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the first couple of hours of today. And then I'm getting back into doing work. I've had these designs. I need to make like four designs to get everything started. Oh, that's a bit bright. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't move around. And I've got three designs done so far. They're all over here, but I can't really show them to you yet. And then I'm going to try working on the fourth one, which is taking a 3D object and then working with the 3D file in JavaScript to output a pen plot. Maybe we'll see how that goes. I need to stop moving. This is moving around is a terrible idea. Right. The other thing I thought I'd finally do is is make the video about the tattoo. Um, yeah, maybe that'll come out next Tuesday. I want to start doing these Tuesday videos again. And of course, it's newsletter on Thursday, which I already have written. I wrote that yesterday, so that's good. Anyway, I'm waffling. Right, I'm going to get on. I will see you tomorrow for more stuff. Stuff. Well, good morning. Oh, that didn't come out right, did it? Um, I'm off in now to write the blog post about the handwriting thing. I mean, continue to write it. That's it, really. That's my update. I'll uh, see you in a moment. Oh, hey, it's video editing Dan here. I, in fact, didn't see you in a moment because I didn't record any more video for Wednesday. Things got super busy. So I know, I know I'm wearing my fleecy thing here because it's now cold in the studio. You're going to be seeing a lot more of this. It's kind of... Anyway, that's by the by. Right, let's move on to Thursday. It's birthday card writing morning, so I'm going to grab some of these, which are these pre-done cards. Well, this is awkward on one hand. Okay, so they're all really creased like that. And we're going to drop these in and get some birthday cards written and sent off. There 
we go. Focus. One down, and now about four more to go. So let's get cracking with the rest. Alrighty, I've got these envelopes, birthday cards, a couple of little notes to go stick in the post office. So let's go do that now. It's going to be so noisy in the studio again. They're putting all this tarmac down. They did over there the other day. They've got this and they've got the machine that goes So I'm gonna to try to record something before, before it gets too noisy. I've been using these inks here. Let me just lighten that up. And I can't pronounce these at all. They are the Kakamori. Anyway, they're pigment based ink which means they're light fast, they don't fade. Being pigment doesn't mean say they're light fast, but these ones kind of are, I believe. And these are the standard colors when I bought them, the blue and the red. And uh, they've come out with a whole range of colors. I write about this in the newsletter. If you read the newsletter, link below, I cover these a lot more. This is the pen that I tried it in, if we can focus there. And I left it in overnight and then overnight again, and it still worked. It's now run out. Let me grab the cartridge. Okay, so that was a blue ink cartridge. We'll come back to that in a second. But yeah, over here, and I can't show you this. It's, and it's blurred, so I can't show you the design, but this is an A1 sheet here, and this is about the size of the design that we filled in. And it went over that twice on that one cartridge. So a full cartridge can do like one third of an A1 sheet twice. Goes quite a long way, it also done some plots previous to it, so that's good. Let me see if I can show you some lines without giving away too much. Hold on. All right, this is going to be horribly out of focus, but that's the blue line there. And that's the red ink there. The blue is actually this really lovely color. It's got a little bit of cyan in there. It's slightly glows, slightly, can't really explain it. The red is a lot duller than I was hoping it was going to be. So hopefully I haven't given away too much there. So that's it, that's these two inks. I think I've got like a brownie yellow. I'm not quite sure what color this is. But so far, it's worked out to be all right. I need to clean this now because I need to swap with another ink. And that is my pen talk for Friday. There's so much around here now that I can't show you. I have to be really careful where I stand. All right then, um, I'm going to get on now with editing this video and my actual work again, which I can't show you, so frustrating. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to tell you, no studio news, all of that. Sign up to the newsletter below. That's it. Um, so unless I really think of something, I'm going to wish you a good weekend now, and I'll see you all next week. I think I've got a little bit more to show you next week, and I love you all. Have a great, great weekend. Bye.